British agent Airsoft Mike has been assigned to deliver five priceless diamonds to a ruthless businessman in the city of San Airsoftus, USA. Although he has been given everything he needs to carry out this top secret mission, most of what he has been given may not be what they appear to be. Right, come on, let's do this. These are supposed to be Daisy X7 military goggles. They're supposed to be ballistic proof. They're supposed to be all sorts of different things. And for the price that I paid for these, I doubt it very much. How on earth are these going to be as good as they claim they are for the money that it cost to purchase them? Now, it comes with everything I expected it to come with and I am still shocked that I could get it at the price that I got them at. It's not sponsored. I just paid for these because I couldn't believe how much they are. I'm one of these people now where I'm a strong advocate of not cutting costs or taking shortcuts when it comes to iPro. So I purely bought these because they also double up as a proper, allegedly, proper pair of sunglasses. Now, yes, it comes with this nice case. Put that to one side. But it's also claiming to be ballistic goggles. And it comes with spear lens. Now, oh man, this is just too good to be true. They look decent enough. Very light. Now, here's the thing. They look decent enough. They look quite well made. It's even got your little sort of like a foam frame on the inside, which would be a very comfortable fit and perfect for gameplay so that there's no gaps around the lens, so no ricochets or BBs can go flying up and hitting you in the eye. Now again, the thing I'm finding really hard to believe is that these are ballistic goggles also. So they double up as a pair of sunglasses and ballistic goggles. I'm one of those um, people now that strongly believes you should never cut corners or go cheap when it comes to eye pro. Now, I'm not being a hypocrite here because yes, I bought these, but it doesn't mean I'm necessarily gonna be using these for gameplay, but man, the description says these can withstand bullets. I mean, come on. I don't believe that for one minute. So for me personally, these will just be a nice new pair of uh, sunglasses. But they claim you can use these for airsoft gameplay and they will protect your eyes. I don't know. I really don't know. But you know what? I'm gonna end up testing these, you know how I do. <laughs> I'm gonna test these and shoot the hell out of them with BBs. But still, I can't see any proper certification or anything to say that they are safety goggles. Now if I'm to believe everything that I have read about these, these are pretty much the ultimate for <laughs> protection during airsoft gameplay. Because you can even take off these arms right here on these, uh, I will call them sunglasses and allegedly Eye Pro, you can literally take these arms off and in here in this little packet 
you can attach this strap right here in place of this and it will fit snugly on your head and you can play airsoft. But I really don't want to be promoting these when I can't find any proper certification to say they are ballistic goggles and on a much lower scale there's nothing to say that they will protect you during airsoft gameplay either. I'll be honest with you, it's a great idea, they look decent. It's just one of my be aware videos. I can't really advocate these without any proper certification that they are proper eye pro. But oh my gosh, do they make a cool pair of sunglasses? Hell yeah. And as I've indicated before, look, you can even pull this rubber section out completely. So if you're not using them for gameplay, look, you can take these off and literally just use these bad boys as sunglasses. And they do claim to have UV protection. Now also in the package, you've got this little card. Now if you look at this little card, you can only see like a pattern on the left hand side right here and on the top. But apparently right there in what looks like a blank area, if you put these Daisy X7s on, you will actually see another pattern right here. So let's see if this will work on camera, hold on. So I'm literally just gonna hold this like that. Here's the glasses, I'm gonna bring it up to the lens. <laughs> yeah, look, it's true, look. Can you see that pattern there? Let me bring it away. It's gone, bring it back. Well, there you go. Point blank range with a gas blowback pistol shooting at around 330 to 350 FPS. And I'm talking that was seriously close and it didn't crack or break the lens. All it did was tarnish the lens. And I'm sure if I was to get a cloth and rub those marks, a lot of it will come off. Not all of them, but some. But like I do with all my impact tests, there will be another video where I will fire even more airsoft power against these Daisy X7s, sunglasses slash so-called iPro, and I will keep doing it until it's destroyed. But for now, first impressions, not bad at all. But again, I'm not gonna say these are suitable for gameplay, even though I've just proven that they are, there's still no proper certification. But anywho, if you want to discover these for yourself and test them out for yourself or just have a nice cool pair of sunglasses, they're called the Daisy X7. Stick that in eBay or Amazon or just Google and you'll see them for sale all over the place. So, going back to the top of the video, the whole theme of this video is that not everything you see is what it appears to be. The diamonds? <laughs> The gold-plated pistol, the iPro, all are fake, or are they? <laughs>